Hi friends, welcome to the channel The Nurse. Uh, here we are discussing about uh, nursing questions and answers with explanation uh, that will be helpful for upcoming central government jobs. So uh, you might be know the PJ Sangrur exam is uh, coming. Same time, Baba Atomic Research and uh, Nursing Officer exam also uh, scheduled to come. And another one uh, important exam is Tata Memorial Nurse A exams. So these are the uh, uh, announced exams and uh, uh, I am expecting uh, e, uh, ESI hospital nursing officer exams also will be uh, there to, uh, this, uh, this year. So these questions will be helpful for preparing all the kinds of nursing exams, central government nursing exams. So you should watch this video till the end. So in this topic, in, in this video, I have included uh, oncology questions, infection control nursing questions, nursing administration questions and also forensic nursing related questions questions so we will move to the topic nursing questions and answers for central government jobs so first question before going to uh, first questions i i need to uh, inform you today that is uh, 13th january 2023 at 5 pm i am coming live on an academy's uh, live crack nursing exams channel to discuss uh, the main topic topic of discussion is uh, nursing as a career and importance of no set. So all my loving subscribers, please come and join with uh, live sessions at five o'clock today. And we will move to uh, our topic. First question is how can nursing administration support development and retention? Support staff development and retention by offering continuing education opportunities by providing opportunities for advancement, by creating a positive work environment, all of the above. Correct answer here, all of the above. So, uh, nursing administration responsibility to for uh, staff development and retention includes uh, all the three options. We will discuss in detail. Nursing administration can support staff development and the retention by offering continuing education opportunities providing opportunities for advancement and creating a positive work environment. So these are the technique that used in nursing administration to retain their staff. Otherwise, they will go to a better opportunities. At the same time, uh, uh, this helps uh, these steps because uh, that is continuing education opportunities and providing opportunities for advancement and creating a positive work environment and all will help uh, or will retain the staff in their institutions and it will help also to give high quality staffs which in turn uh, high, if there is uh, there have a, a, a human resource of high quality staff that will directly improve their quality of patient care so that is the everything is related to each other if nursing administration improves uh, quality of the staffs it will improve the quality of patient care also so that is the important then second question, what is the difference between cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs and targeted chemotherapy drugs? Cytotoxic drugs attack all rapidly dividing cells while targeting, targeted therapy drugs attack specific cells or molecules. Cytotoxic drugs are used to, used to treat solid tumors while targeted therapy drugs are used to, to treat blood cancers. Third option. Cytotoxic drugs have more severe side effects than targeted therapy drugs. Fourth option, cytotoxic drugs are given intravenously while targeted therapy drugs are given orally. Here, correct answer is option A. Cytotoxic drugs attacks all rapidly dividing cells while targeted therapy drugs attack specific cells or molecules. This question is from oncology, chemothera chemotherapy drugs related questions. And here we will discuss the cytotoxic drugs and the targeted therapy drugs. Cytotoxic drugs attack all rapidly dividing cells while targeted therapy drugs are designed to attack specific cells or molecules that are involved in cancer growth and, growth and progression. So what you understand in this so cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs in, in our body it will attack all rapidly growing cells. There is no uh, specific, if there, if some uh, normal cells are also going rapidly means it will attack normal cells. 
But in the case of targeted therapy, the targeted therapy drugs, chemotherapy drugs will attack the specific cells only. If a patient is having a chemotherapy for ovarian uh, cancer or patient is having uh, chemotherapy for uh, breast cancer or other, any other type of cancer, the targeted chemotherapy means it will destroy the particular targeted cancer cells only. It will not destroy other adjacent therapy or other normal cells. But the cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs means it is a it will attack like a general. Anything, uh, any cells that is uh, growing rapidly, that will identify it is a, as an enemy and it will destroy. Target, so we will uh, discuss about more about targeted therapy drugs. It, it they are more specific, more specific to can, that particular cancer cells, and it will be less toxic. And side effects also compared to cytotoxic drugs, the targeted chemotherapy drugs are less side effects. Same time, targeted therapies can be used alone or in combination with the cytotoxic drugs to increase the effectiveness of treatment. So, because of its uh, peculiar uh, 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 peculiar effects on cancer cells, it can be used alone. Or sometimes, if the cancer cell in uh, cancer is in advanced stage, it can be used along with the cytotoxic drugs. So that will improve the effectiveness of the treatment. Initial stage means the, uh, targeted, uh, targeted therapy uh, alone can be used for initial uh, for initial treatment of cancer. But if it is advanced, it can be used along with the cytotoxic chemotherapy to get a more effectiveness. Third question, what is the main goal of nursing administration? To improve patient outcomes, to increase profit, to maximize efficiency, all of the above. Question is from nursing administration. Here correct answer is to improve patient outcome. The main goal of uh, nursing administration is to improve patient outcomes. If we are nursing administration improving their quality of nursing nurses, then the that qualified nurses will give a high quality care to their patients so that will improve the patient outcomes the main goal of nursing administration is to improve patient outcome by ensuring the facility is well managed that staffs are well trained and supported and that policies and procedures are in place to promote high quality care so, if nursing administration provides a base for uh, good, uh, comfortable base for work, uh, their nursing staff, it will directly improve the quality of patient care or it will improve the outcomes of patient care. Fourth question, what is the main goal of neo-adjoint chemotherapy? I think this uh, term is uh, new, new to you, neo-adjoint chemotherapy. If you are not working in... Uh, oncology unit so here option is to string a tumor before surgery to prevent recurrence of the cancer after surgery to relieve symptoms caused by the cancer all of the above so here main goal of new adjunct chemotherapy asked so correct answer is to string a tumor before surgery so i will explain little more about new adjunct therapy neo adjunct chemotherapy refers to the use of chemotherapy drugs before surgery to string the tumor and make it more likely to be completely removed during surgery if it is strung uh, means uh, so we can remove the most of the old tumor part if it is spread into various part means there is a difficulty during surgery to remove the most of the tumor so, if you are up applying or if you are administering new adjunct chemotherapy before surgery, it will help to remove maximum cancer, uh, tumor cells. It can be used as a primary treatment for some type of cancers. The goal is improved to patient's chances of survival by making the surgery more effective. So, these are the 
main goals of neo adjuvant therapy so, so this may be an important term for you neo adjuvant chemotherapy it is used before surgery to shrink the tumor size and uh, so it will help the, uh, during the surgery to remove most of the tumor cells fifth question the main goal of adjuvant chemotherapy so another uh, similar term previous question we have discussed about in neo adjuvant therapy here we are uh, uh, asking the goal of adjuvant chemotherapy so options are to shrink a tumor before surgery to prevent recurrence of the cancer after surgery to relieve symptoms caused by the cancer all of the above so we can eliminate first options so in previous question we have discussed it is the goal of neo adjuvant therapy so we can easily eliminate these options so in uh, other three options only we need to focus here here correct answer is to prevent recurrence of the cancer after surgery the goal of adjuvant chemotherapy that is to prevent recurrence after recurrence of the cancer after surgery neo adjuvant therapy it is used before surgery adjuvant chemotherapy it is used after after the surgery so that is the main difference adjuvant chemotherapy refers to the use of chemotherapy drugs after surgery to eliminate any remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence the goal is to improve the patient's chances of survival by eliminating any remaining cancer cells that may have been missed by surgery so during the surgery most of the time so we can remove so uh, 75 to 80 percentage of uh, tumor cells because of it may may be spread into deep into the uh, normal uh, growing cells so that will be difficult to remove so in that cases and all we can uh, start adjuvant chemotherapy to destroy that remaining cancer cells so that is the um, importance of adjuvant chemotherapy so what is the ad, uh, importance of uh, neo adjuvant therapy it will shrink the uh, uh, tumor and it will helps to remove maximum size of tumor during the surgery adjuvant chemotherapy means it will destroy the remaining cancer cells so all of uh, chemotherapy the neo adjuvant therapy surgery uh, adjuvant therapy all are helping the patient to uh, get a better uh, chances of survival it can it can be used for other situations to prevent cancer reoccurrence so sometimes uh, surgery will not be there uh, radi radiation therapy only there means that situation also we can use the recurrence of the cancers so adjuvant therapy after the ra uh, radiation uh, ra radiation therapy also uh, helpful in some conditions so the, uh, these are the importance of adjuvant therapy so i think it it is clear don't confuse with adjuvant therapy and neo adjuvant therapy neo adjuvant therapy it is used before the surgery adjuvant therapy is used after the surgery so neo adjuvant therapy helps to shrink the uh, tumor cells tumor size and adjuvant therapy it will destroy the remaining cancer cells after the surgery sixth question what is the most important method of uh, infection control hand washing wearing personal protective equipments sterilization disinfection correct answer is hand washing it is an easy easy question hand washing uh, why it is important means it will break the chain of uh, uh, infection spreading so if you are doing hand washing before uh, touching the patient or after the uh, after doing any patient care or any uh, soiled uh, articles or linens uh, handling time these are all the uh, time we need to do hand washing so it will uh, break the chain the uh, contaminated hands to spread infection to other area or other persons so hand washing is the most important method of uh, infection control seventh question what are the most common side effects of cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs fatigue nausea diarrhea all the above here correct answer is all the above 
uh, fatigue, nausea, diarrhea, etc. are the mo most common side effects of cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs. Cytotopic, uh, cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs can cause a wide range of side effects including fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hair loss or alopecia and anemia. These are the most common side effects of cytotoxic drugs but there are some other side effects of cytotoxic drugs that will be less frequently we can um, see in the patient. So there are other side, side effects of uh, cytotoxic drugs include increased risk of infection. How? Because of leukopenia or bone marrow suppression. During the uh, bone marrow su uh, suppression, there, is, there will be uh, less number of production of white blood cells, platelets, platelets, uh, 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 lack of platelet, it will lead to bleeding. And cytotoxic drugs also uh, sometimes damage to the, uh, it will cause damage to the heart, lungs, kidneys or other organs. The severity of the side effects can vary depending upon the specific drugs. So, severity depends upon the specific type of group of drugs or patient's overall health. If patient is uh, healthy, the severity will be less. If patient is vulnerable, the severity will be more. Eighth question, what is the main complication of prolonged mechanical ventilation? Pneumonia, respiratory acidosis, ventilator associated pneumonia, ventilator associated lung injury. That is valley. Correct answer is ventilator associated pneumonia. That is the main complication of prolonged mechanical ventilation. So there are certain criteria to uh, diagnose ventilator associated pneumonia. It is a serious complication that can occur in patients who are on mechanical ventilation for ex extended period of time. The diagnosis of VAP is based on several criteria including the mainly uh, four criteria used to diagnose ventilator associated pneumonia. So we need to identify whether it is uh, the pneumonia is uh, associated with some other, other cause or ventilator associated pneumonia. So that is why the criteria is used. If patient is uh, meeting all the uh, criteria, then we can say it is a ventilator associated pneumonia. So I will explain uh, first criteria that is clinical criteria. In clinical criteria, the patient has signs and symptoms of pneumonia such as fever, cough, sputum reduction, shortness of breath and changes in lung sounds on examination. So this is the signs of pneumonia only. So first we need to get clinical criteria. So in that uh, patient has the signs of pneumonia that is such as fever, cough, sputum reduction, shortness of breath and changes in the lung sounds. Then second one is a cultural sensitivity test that is microbiological criteria. The sa sample, of, sample, um, sample of sputum or bronchial secretions or endotracheal aspirate shows the presence of pathogenic microorganism that is during the cultural sensitivity test. That also uh, came positive. Then third criteria that is radiological criteria, a chest x-ray or CT scan of chest HRCT uh, shows the presence of new or progressive infiltrates in the lungs. Sometimes the progress infiltration will be new or if already patient has infiltration, if it is uh, spreading into the other parts, other parts of the lungs, then also it will come positive for radiological criteria. Then last and fourth criteria that is very very important the onset of patient symptoms that is clinical criteria the onset of patient symptoms and the growth of microorganism microbiological criteria occur after the patient has been on mechanical ventilator for at least 48 hours so these all criteria uh, uh, if it is positive that is if patient uh, should be there in a mechanical ventilator at least 48 hours then only we can call it as a ventilator associated pneumonia if all other three category uh, three criteria filled and fourth criteria is not fulfilling means we cannot say it is a ventilator associated pneumonia so that is a very important criteria that is temporal criteria 
Ninth question, which of the following is not an example of standard precautions? Washing hands before and after patient contact, wearing gloves during a procedure, eating in the patient's room, maintaining a clean environment. Correct answer is eating in the patient's room. That is not a standard precautions. Tenth question, what is the role of nursing administration in quality improvement? Identifying and analyzing problems, implementing and monitoring changes, evaluating and reporting on outcomes, all of the above. Correct answer is all of the above. Nursing administration plays a key role in quality improvement by identifying and analyzing problems, implementing and monitoring changes, and evaluating and reporting on outcomes. So these are the roles of nursing administration in quality improvement. By taking a data-driven approach and continuously striving for improvement, nursing administration can help to ensure the, that the facility is providing the highest quality of care possible. So nursing administration responsibility to improve by continuously monitoring nursing care and administering helps to ensure the facility is to help the nurses to provide a high quality care. So they have to provide a base base for working uh, working environment. Then 11th question, what is the primary mechanism of action of cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs? So we have discussed in previous questions, so you can easily answer here. Blocking the formation of new blood vessels, targeting and killing cancer cells, stimulating the immune, immune system, reducing inflammation. Correct answer here, targeting and killing cancer cells. So that is the main uh, mechanism of uh, action of cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs. Cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs are a class of medication that work by attacking and killing rapidly dividing cells such as cancer cells. They dis uh, disrupt the cell cycle and the DNA synthesis which leads to the cell death. These drugs are typically used to treat solid tumors, leukemia and lymphoma. Cytotoxic drugs uh, mainly used to treat solid tumors, leukemia and lymphoma. 12th question, which of the following is not a primary function of nursing administration? Planning and budgeting, staffing and scheduling, performing direct patient care, policy and procedure development. Here correct answer is performing direct patient care. Nursing administration is a management role. So the primary function do not include performing direct patient care. That is nurses role only. So nursing administration, what are the roles of nursing administration that includes? A nursing administration focuses on planning and budgeting, staffing and scheduling, policy and procedure development and other administrative tasks. So direct patient care uh, is a responsibility of nurses only. So 13th question, who is responsible for the overall management and operation of a healthcare facility? Nurse manager, staff nurse, nurse practitioner, administrator. So correct answer is administrator. Administration is responsible for all the overall management and operation of a healthcare facility. Then 14th question, what is the primary goal of weaning a patient of a mechanical ventilation? Maintaining stable vital signs, reducing the risk of infection, improving the patient's ability to breathe independently, all of the above. The primary goal of weaning, uh, that is, improving, improving the patient's ability to breathe independently. So, mechanical ventilation provides an assist or a full ventilation to the patients. When patient is uh, able to or ready for weaning, then patient has to breathe independently or 
patients need some assist from mechanical ventilation still patient will do the maximum effort to breathe then only we can initiate weaning process 15th question uh, this question is from forensic nursing so you need to think as a forensic nurse a patient presents to the emergency department with a broken arm and a head injury after being hit by a car. The nurse should suspect intentional injury, accidental injury, natural causes, none of the above. Correct answer is it is an accidental injury. So sometimes we can uh, sometimes we can tell accidental injury will be intentional so it will be both accidental or or it will be an intentional injury if a person is purposefully hit a person and making injury then it will be an intentional injury but in the road traffic accident and accident and all it is a example of simple accidental injury only so that is a difference intentional injury and accidental injury so we will exp explain about what is intentional injury and what is accidental injury and all. If the patient's injuries were likely caused by an accident such as being hit by a car. So uh, nurse, nurse has to record it is an accidental injury. Intentional injury means uh, it would suggest that the patient was harmed on purpose. So there will be a purpose. So then it is called intentional injury to uh, murder the person or to make a person injured like there will be some uh, purpose will be there in the case of intentional injury natural injury natural causes includes patient has uh, some disease or illness because of that patient got injured so that is a natural cause so these are the difference between intentional injury natural causes or accidental injuries Injuries from natural cause or accidental injuries. The forensic, nurse, uh, the forensic nursing role includes being able to recognize and document injuries that are intentional or accidental in order to provide the appropriate care for the patient and also as a way of gathering information for legal or criminal proceedings. So if it is going into legal or criminal proceedings, the, pay, the uh, recordical uh, documents will be very much helpful so nurse has to uh, document in clear way whether it is a accidental injury or intentional injury so according to that nurse so another question that also from uh, forensic nursing uh, a patient presents to emergency department with a stab wound the nurse should clean the clean and address the wound contact the police administer a tetanus shot all of the above here correct answer is all of the above a forensic nurse has to clean and redress the wound contact the police administer the tetanus shot according to doctor's order so these are the responsibilities of a uh, nurse the nurse should clean and address the wound to prevent infection and provide care for the patient Contact the police as the wound may be a result of criminal act and administer a tetanus shot and needed to prevent tetanus. Injuries that are inflicted by another person are considered as possible criminal acts. Therefore, it is important that forensic nurse understands legal requirements as well as the nursing care and also helps with the documentation of the evidence while providing patient care. So these are the responsibility of nurse, nurse uh, that is uh, mainly focusing on forensic nursing. So that is about today's video. So th uh, if you have any doubt means you can ask in comment section and also please join with me uh, in uh, live session at uh, sorry today's live session that is uh, five o'clock uh, an academy's let let's crack nursing channel. So thank you for watching this video and. Please like and share this video with your friends. Bye bye.